Welcome to Redditors. Please hit the like button. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> Teachers of Reddit, what's the weirdest thing a student answered to tell me a fun fact about yourself? A guy in my class introduced himself by telling us how he decided he wanted to study philosophy because one day he was really high peeing in the street and he saw a couple of people working and he wondered what they were doing. So he realized his passion was wandering. He dropped out like two months later. That he has been to juvie multiple times and is currently on probation. Then he pulled up his pants enough that everyone could see his ankle monitor. That was something. Not actually the worst direction he could have pulled his pants, though. I am not a teacher but this guy in my class named Shane has this medical condition that causes him to grow tons of hair at an early age. Full beard in middle school. He would say I'm Shane and I'm very hairy. He could say my name is Shane. But friends call me Harry. In my psychology class, we were talking about the early signs of serial killers and the quietest girl who never spoke told the story of when she lived in Chicago. She had a friend around 5th grade who would always stomp on baby birds and once put his hamster in the microwave. Well his parents were having difficulty keeping up with his antics so they sent him to his grandmother's, who he promptly stabbed to death when she woke him up for school. So that was interesting. My friend is really quiet, he doesn't really talk unless talked to. He's really cool though and has some things he enjoys doing. Literally second year I knew him the teacher asked this and he said he's a professional bowler with a 300 best. And I was like why haven't you told Demi this? I guess it just never came up. Knew him for a whole year and never knew that. Had students, aged 11, sharing strategies for dealing with difficult emotions. One at a time in a big circle. One girl talked about digging her nails into her face whenever she was feeling stressed or anxious. And I had to explain to the class why self-harm was not a good coping strategy. I've had my hand up a sheep's bum shocked me slightly. Child of a farming family. Helping with lambing season. During French class, a guy in my class said that he liked stabbing children. He meant that he fences but didn't know the exact translation for that. I love the French class fun facts. In a beginner French class, I had to accidentally come out to the class when I was asked whether I had a spouse. Jesus a lesbian. It was awkward. Even though I'm a professor, nothing that's ever been revealed by this question has ever been as awkward or uncomfortable as an occasion that happened when I was still a student. This was when I was in my MFA program for creative writing. If you've never been in an arts program before it probably won't surprise you to learn that they can attract some weird personalities. It was the first day of a fiction workshop and the professor decided that he wanted us to all share something interesting about ourselves and for some reason one girl, Ashley, decided that this would be a good opportunity for her to tell us about her long history of drug abuse and the equally long period of mental psychosis she went through as a result of it. She didn't do this as a quick answer either but as a long drawn out list of every single drug she had ever experimented with followed by a catalogue of every single delusion she suffered as a result. The only one I can remember now is that at one point she became convinced she was a millionaire and her family was hiding her money from her. All of this was delivered in a monotone monologue with her eyes glazed over that lasted at least 5 minutes, which was met at the end with a long, awkward silence before the professor said well that was definitely something interesting and moved on to the next person. We did one of those two truths one lie bits. Girl stands up and says, I've never been out of the country, I'm a twin, I love playing sports, I knew this girl beforehand and knew she didn't have a twin, so picked that one, nope. She had a conjoined twin that died in utero and had to be surgically removed and she's now missing the last vertebrae on her spine. Showed us the scar and everything. Apparently the lie was the first one as she'd been to Mexico. I'm a teacher from the UK. Form tutor to the year 7 class. 11 year olds. To get to know each other on the first day I had them take it in turns to say their name. Which primary school they've come from and an interesting fact. Like favorite food or color. We get to the last kid in the class. His fact is that he has six fingers on one hand. Coolest kid ever. Not me but my brother. He told the teacher last night my family ate beaver for dinner. I was much older and had left home by then. The class laughed. The teacher accused him of lying. The principal was brought into this and my mother had to go in for a meeting. 
She chewed them up one side and down the other because we had a cousin who was a trapper and he had sent a batch of beaver thighs for the family to enjoy. Although my brother was telling the truth, he told me later that he did say that for the effect, disrupting the class. I don't ask for a fun fact, but on the first day I always ask, what's your most recent obsession, low stakes, building affinity networks, etc, etc. In my first semester, a student said there, as in oxygen, that's a good answer, a lot of people couldn't live without it. Not a teacher, but on the first day of 9th grade we had to form a circle and say one thing about ourselves that we thought was unique, when it was this dude's turn. Let's call him Mike. Mike stands up and says in a really serious tone goes my mom and dad grow weed. His house got raided the next day and his dad got arrested smh. Who snitched? Probably the teacher who is a mandatory reporter. Not a teacher, but I was a helper in a middle school classroom. A young girl, who seemed uninterested, said, with no hesitation, that she can chug an entire bottle of beer. She got expelled later that year for keeping drugs in her locker. In the context of having students introduce themselves one by one to a new boy in a small high school class, a girl said her parents got her a nose job and a boob job. Okay so I had psychology back in the spring semester of college, and I sat next to a girl who I was good friends with from high school. Professor asks her for a fun fact and she said I like to watch people get cut open. She obviously said it for effect. But she cleared it up by saying she liked watching videos of people getting plastic surgery because it's satisfying to watch. The explanation is just as bad. You will think less of me if you google me. I remember one kid used it as an opportunity to explain that he believed in the flying spaghetti monster. Not a teacher, but in third grade, we would do this weekly how was your weekend sort of thing where we'd sit in a circle and share. This one girl casually goes I found out that my biological father didn't want me in a super nonchalant tone and everything. I still remember the awkward tension. I sometimes have kids that share some pretty devastating sh**. You really got to think on your toes about how to respond so as to not alert the other kids to the severity of the comment while still meeting the emotional need of the kid that is obviously going through that thing. First day of intro to lit during my freshman year of college. When asked an interesting fact about myself, I said I refused to bungee jump. Slightly confused, my professor took the bait. My professor replied that's sort of random. Why do you refuse to bungee jump? Is it a certain fear? To which my reply was to be honest with ya sir. A broken rubber brought me into this world. So I'm going to make damn sure one doesn't take me out of it. Luckily, the professor was a chill guy. The entire class exploded with laughter and it was a good time. My dad clogged the toilet this morning and that's why I'm feeling frustrated 5 year old child. I will say the question was how are you doing this morning, but I could barely keep from laughing out loud. Follow up question. Teachers that put everyone on the spot like that. VF. Not a teacher, but on the first day of school in 8th grade this kid in one of my classes casually answered. I have a restraining order on my dad. Not a teacher. But first day of high school when we did introductions one of the popular girls said hi I'm Maisie, and I'm trash. Wait no, I'm fan trash. And then proceeded to explain that she read smutty fanfics to every and any of the teacher that asked what fan trash is. We were 11, British high school. I was an ESL teacher in Indonesia and a student once told me every morning she cleaned the sh on her bed. I asked her to clarify. Worried she had a serious digestive issue, she answered. I brush my teeth, wash face and clean bed sh- bed sheet. He has a TV in his bedroom. He was 17. Hello. My name's John and I have two pairs of shoes. I know a lot about medieval torture equipment. I'm a student but a kid in my class said that he loves chicken nuggets then sat down and didn't say anything to anyone else for a month. I have so much admiration yet confusion for him. I think his name was Carter he stood up and said this is college by the way one time I had sex with a girl in the bathroom. He was expelled. That when he wiped in the bathroom this morning, there was blood on the toilet paper. Law. I'm not a teacher, but this may qualify. As a freshman in college, this kid named Brent and told our class his name was Brent 5 on. But the 5 is silent. He was a weird cat. I mean do you man. 
but it was the most awkward silence from the lecture and professor I have ever witnessed. Not a teacher but the daughter of one. My dad had a student tell him during the fun fact question in detail about how his goldfishes died that morning and how he experimented on their corpses. He had pictures on his phone of the skin off and the intact skeleton next to it. He is a successful taxidermist now so silver linings I guess. Obligatory. Not a teacher. First year college. A guy shared with a class that he hated dogs. We were veterinary students. One year later he dropped out. And three years later I dropped out too. A student. Not a teacher. But once we were going around a circle during percussion camp in the front ensemble and my teacher goes hello everyone. My name is X and I have shmy pants as an adult. Definitely one of the weirder ones I've heard. I was in one of the first small required classes for my teaching degree and everyone in the class was studying to teach. It was day 2 or 3 and we were doing a get to know you activity where we share something about yourself. I don't remember the exact question but it had something to do with what you regret take back. A guy came in late, when almost everyone has answers the question, and the professor asked him the questions and he thought for a moment and said I regret letting my friend talking me into dropping acid. The class was silent for a good 20 seconds until the professor said maybe next time we only share things that are legal. I hadn't seen him in any other teacher classes since, still laugh about it to this day. I was probably one of those weird answers. I'm cats over flowers and I'm part of a sword fighting group. Don't think many teachers believed me but it was true. Not a teacher, but one of my classmates said that she pole dances for exercise. Asked 16 year old Dean a new student, where he was from and what he did for fun. But he was secretive about it. Asked what his other school was before hours and again. He wouldn't tell me. Finally pressed him and he said he was in witness protection program and had watched a murder. In cold blood and the gov moved him and family to our little town. Gulp. Fun fact indeed. My son told his 7th grade teacher that he had a Sasquatch uncle. The teacher was doubtful until my wife wrote the teacher a note scolding the teacher for not believing and backing up my son's story. In retrospect, it's likely the teacher just humored everyone while thinking my wife was a lunatic. I had a third grader who was in my gifted and talented class. This is relevant. Her classroom teacher complained to me that when she asked this question of her class, this girl answered that she likes to break things and make voodoo dolls of her enemies. Third grade. Needless to say, I told the teacher that somewhere in an 8 year old girl's bedroom is a voodoo doll of her and probably me too.